Welcome back to your Step Up Math class. Today's assignment will be the continuation of exercise 5.3, question number 2, page 75, and from page 76. Draw two lines for your name and for today's date. Today is 16th November. Exercise 5.3, question number 2. Solve the following story sums. You don't need to copy the questions. Question number A. Samita is traveling by a car. She has to cover a total distance of 354 kilometers in 6 hours. How many distances will she cover in an hour? Samita ka kari na zina. A zina tur mun ka 354 kilometer anya. Dar kar ruk 6 hours anya. So anin dar kar kata. Kilometer ang zat nge at lanzil ngayang tikakan zong dono ni. The statements are highlighted. Draw answer dash and write the statement. Distance to be covered is equal to 354 kilometers. Required time 6 hours. Distance covered in 1 hour is equal to 354 divided by 6. We're going to divide 354 by 6. Write the numbers like this and find whether we have 35 in a timetable of 6. 6 fives are 30. 6 six are 36. So we don't have 35 in a timetable of 6 and we will write 5 in the quotient. 6 fives are 30. Subtract 30 from 35. 35 minus 30 is 5. And we have 4 in the 1's place. Take down 4 and write next to 5. We have 54. Do we have 54 in the timetable of 6? 6 nines are 54. 54 minus 54 is 0. So we have the answer. You will write the answer. She will cover... 59 kilometer in an hour. When you finish, you will draw a long line. B. The cost of 4 toys is rupees 648. Find the cost of one such toy. Toy pali ka cheng zaruk li pariyat mananiya. Toy pakhat ing zat man nge ti kakanzong donani. Here also, the statements are highlighted. Draw answer dash and write the statements. Total cost of toys is equal to rupees 648. Number of toys is equal to 4. Cost of one toy is equal to 648 divided by 4. You will divide the numbers by yourself and you will write the answer. Rupees dash is the cost of one toy. Don't forget to put rupees. You will write the number you get in the quotient. C. A book has 280 pages. Gaya 3 wants to read an equal number of pages every day and complete the book within 8 days. How many pages does she have to read in a day? Le kabu pakat kanin 280 pages anaya. Gaya 3 kanin. Nitin kanin. Tiara niriya tunga tiarzo ka aduni. So, anin niriya tunga at siyarzo doon so an nikhat zela ka anin pish ing zat nge at siyarang tika kanzong doon ni. Draw answer dash. Total number of pages is equal to 280. Number of days is equal to 8. Number of pages to read in a day is equal to 280 divided by 8. Divide the numbers by yourself and write the answer. She have to read the pages in a day. You will write the answer you get in the quotient. D. Raghu collected 252 stamps in a week. How many stamps are collected in a day if the same number of stamps were collected each day? Raghu kanin kar khatsung kanin 252 stamps ka mana. Suanin nikata kanin. A in ang vika ala kom ani zwan ni kata ing zat zel nge ala kom teyang tika kan zong donani. 
Here we have only one given number, that is 252. The other number will be the number of days in a week. In one week, how many days are there? There are seven days in a week, so the other number will be seven. Draw answer dash. Total number of stamps collected is equal to 252. Number of days in a week is equal to 7. As we have said, there are 7 days in a week. Number of stamps collected in one day is equal to total number of stamps collected divided by the number of days, 252 divided by 7. Divide the numbers by yourself and write the answer. Dash stamps are collected. You will write the answer you get in the quotient. E. A car dealer had 115 cars. He sold equal number of cars each month for five months. How many cars did he sell every month? Car dealer Kanin. Car ka 815 na niya. Kanin. A in za cheo kanin kanga tung kanin ashala. Zwanin kaka tung in eng zat nge kar ka ashal man di kan zong donani. Total number of cars is equal to 815. Number of months is equal to 5. Cars sold every month is equal to 815 divided by 5. Divide the numbers by yourself and write the answer. He sold dash cars every month. You will get the you will write the number you get in the quotient. Question number F. A shopkeeper has three hundred sixty five toffees. If he has to pack these toffees equally in eight packets, then how many toffees will be there in one packet? How many toffees are left unpacked? Shopkeeper Khan in Dorney to Khan in Toffees ka six hundred sorry seven hundred sixty five Faneya. Packet eight a canin, eight packets a canin, and za chevin ye to fika ada ang, pacazela canin, and za nye ada ang, de kakanzonga, zonin zona tonga aron omlea, and za nye unpack vela vang, and za nye la bang ang, de kakanzong til donani. So, from this question, there will be a remainder. Draw answer dash. Total number of toffees is equal to six hundred. Sorry, seven hundred sixty-five. Number of packets to be packed is equal to eight. Number of toffees in one packet is equal to seven hundred sixty-five divided by eight. Divide the number by yourself, and you will have the remainder. Hemiya hianin remainder aron om don ni at sanso question a kanin ang zat ng pekvelo tour om aron ti van kan remainder abang ka om ng ng don ni when you finish you will write the answer. Dash toffees will be there in one packet, and dash toffees are left unpacked. Amasazo ka hianin quotient kan siya kanga anunungzo ka hian remainder. Sabruti has 199 sheets of paper. If she has to make bunches of 9 papers, then how many bunches can be made? How many papers papers are left? Sabruti kanin paper ka 199 na niya. So nin bunch ha kanin asyam do ni bunch. Tsu atel kom ti na. So nin bunch pakat zela kanin paper pakwa. Adazel dona, so in 199 papers, such an canin, bunching zat nye, siam te, tika kan zonga nga, so in questions hong aron om vele ni, how many papers are left? Paper in zat nye, let's wangang, tika kan zong dona, so it is very clear that from this question also there will be a remainder. Total number of sheets of papers is equal to 199. Number of papers in one bunch is equal to 9. Number of bunches that can be made is equal to Total number of papers divided by the number of papers in one bunch. 199 by 199 divided by 9. So divide the numbers by yourself and write the answer. Dash bunches can be made and dash papers are left. 
in the first one you will write the number you get in the quotient and in the second you will write, write the remainder last question for today's assignment question number h how many pencils can be bought with rupees 632 if each pencil costs rupees 5 how much money will be left pencil ka cheng zaruk som thum panni hyanin engzat nge lei theyang pencil pakhat zel kha cheng a ani chuan 632 hyanin engzat nge pencil kan lei theyang tikha kan zong anga ani poisa engzat nge labang tikha kan zong tel bok don ani total amount of money is equal to rupees 632 Cost of each pencil is equal to rupees 5. Amount of